I'm an animal rights activist, and I participated in the performance The Rapist is You in Orizaba, Mexico. This action that we saw happening all over the globe and that was replicated at least in 30 different cities in Mexico. I went with another animal and climate safe organizer, and after the performance, we held a conversational online space via Instagram to talk about misogyny in the daily life. It had a lot of success. Lots of women were able to talk about their feelings and how oppressed we feel. Even a couple of men participated and showed their empathy and sorrow for us. It made me cry so many times to see the videos of this performance in France, Germany and so many places. Misogyny is killing us, raping us and taking away from us our freedom to be. In Mexico, 9 out of 10 women have experienced sexual harassment. It's brutal. Most of my friends and I have been raped, labor abused, and lived so much inequality just for being women. Being a feminist is the only answer to stay alive and sane. But being a feminist is actually a high-risk sport. Perhaps this is a good time to let you know that I have been in the Mexican federal government's activist protection program for more than a year now. I even have a panic button with GPS since I have been attacked and harassed a lot because of my activism as a feminist and animal liberation activist. I do know that the people who bully, chase me and threaten me are 99% men and I am very conscious about this. I felt scared and anxious for a long time. And I live with the certainty that if I'm arrested, raped, disappeared, or killed, my victimizers will be men. I'm better now. My emotional and mental health are great now because I know my value and my strength. But still, there are so many people that don't want to see us women in power, respected, or happy. I have been doing feminist activism for 15 years now and I still feel like it is more likely to stop espousism than misogyny. We can have a vegan world, but misogyny is a monster that doesn't go away. And to know that there are so many misogynist activists in our movement, that really hits me too. But we will never stop fighting until all of us are free. That's why I know intersectionality has to be achieved. Violence has to be abolished in all its forms. We need to fight for total liberation. Because while we are fighting for animal freedom, we're still fighting for our own liberation as well.